Oh, it's in my ass. I've got one in my butt. <laughs> That's some good arrow twerk in that. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. Made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. A big cliche good day, folks, and a happy new year to you too. Look at my smexy armor. Isn't that so pretty? Uh, what I'm doing at the moment is trying to get used to BD Pure by Spax, because uh, it is the texture pack I am using for my co-op survival series with Hey Apple. Um, but with all this glass, like in a house, the glass is see-through and it's all lovely and this is really disorientating. I don't know whether I'm about to smack into some glass or walk off the edge or what. Uh, but before I do change back to vanilla, because this is this is all well for now, but yeah, no, that's just going to confuse me. Look what I spotted in the bottom of the Mushroom Island jar. Uh, so, so, wait, today's... Um, Today's little jobbies for me to do. Uh, I would like to finish my animal farm over there, uh, get it lit up for the mobs. Actually build a bit of a PvP area as well because I am going to need mob drops. Um, grab those resources in the bottom of that mushroom. Look at that. There's stuffs. There's diamonds. But the main thing I do want to do when I pause for a second, just get rid of this texture pack, which is lovely, but um, but not for world in a jar, is the cobble jar, which isn't in range, but the one that's... Would you sprint? It has no sprint, this one here. That cobble jar there. That is what we're making our way over to today. Let me just get my bits up. I don't know why I didn't have sprint then. I thought I might have been out of... Oh, there it is. Um, yes, the, uh, the cobble jar is the shiz for today. Hello, Zambi. Well, let's get some mobs. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. There was a headless one I saw before. It was quite funny. Do I want some bones? Why not? Let's kill some mobs. Let's kill some mobs. Where's the opening for... Here it is. Ha ha ha. You're cactuying yourself, you idiot. Way to be an idiot as she gets hit with an arrow. Yay! Because you suck and I am so great. Beautiful. All right, so let's just take a quick break from all these shenanigans. Uh, I'll put vanilla back on. And we will start uh, stocking up cobble to make my way over to that cobble jar. Now, guys, remember how I said that with all of these jars, I'm never going to be out of cobble. Um, building the cobblestone generator down under, if you can hear the, not, under there, you can hear the water for it, uh, wouldn't ever be needed because I'd had all of this cobble. Well, guess what? I have six cobble left in my entire inventory. So, we shall put the, I know it's a bit ironic to put the cobble jar off until second, and let's go and do the second thing first. So we are going to collect the ores, etc., over from the mushroom jar, uh, which also means I'm going to get a good couple of layers here of cobble as well. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> you know what, guys? I completely forgot about the sponge. Yay, the sponge! I have sponge! Sponge! Woohoo! For the sponge! Oh, that's great. That was unexpected. Sort of. Somewhat. Pretty much. Alright. <laughs> um, how am I doing for cobble? Almost two stacks of 64. I don't, I still don't think that's going to get me over to the cobble jar. Uh, there we go. That's why it makes sense. I couldn't actually get over to the cobble jar to use the cobble from the cobble jar to get to the cobble jar, if, if you follow me. So <laughs> let's keep excavating this one, shall we? Yay! So that's pretty much. Oh, am I going to bother? I might do that. I might do that AFK because uh, I don't mind doing that for for this one. Um, this could well just be these three layers of uh, of smooth stone and ores, but. 
knowing my luck, there's going to be, say, something right in the middle there. Lucky I've already got the sponge. Anyway, anywho, so let's have a look there. We've got four stacks of 64 and 7, a few more ores. I reckon it's time to start heavy. I'm, I'm a little bit excited. Oh, oh, and one other thing, guys. Let me just get to safety. Oh, now I caved. Um, I had something installed on Minecraft uh, a good while ago when I first started, and I found absolutely no use for it. But I have caved and I have reinstalled. Everyone's going to be like face palming right now when they say, Why did you get rid of it in the first place? Uh, but to be honest, it wasn't helping with my FPS. It really didn't make any any kind of difference. But the one thing, the one reason I have got it back is so I can do this. Woohoo! Woohoo! Ah, so it is. Look at the mossy. It's a mossy cobble jar. So yes, Carrot Top officially has Optifine back. Uh, 1.7.2 Optifine. Pretty pleased about that. Um, yeah. Whether... Whether it's helping my, my FPS or not, I'm not quite sure. I really, I don't know. I don't know. We'll let time will tell with that one. Um, now, I reckon, guys, if I do some more um, time lapse here, I might change up the music a little bit because there's a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers that I know that do do time lapse. They do do. They do do time lapse. And um, they use the same music over and over, which is just a representation of said time lapse. Uh, but you guys need to be a little bit more entertained, I, th I feel. Oh, where's the zombies? Are they in there? <sighs> is that what it's all about? Is it is it a, a mob maze? It has torches. Oh, wow. <sighs> Look, at, something's glitching through. There's loads glitching through. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting, guys. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm either going to get my ass completely handed to me, um, or it's just going to be great fun. I reckon it's just going to be great fun. So let me just get my... Wow, they're noisy little buggers, aren't they? Listen to that fuss. Listen to all that fuss. They got problems. I think they do. All right. Let's... Uh, Let's just do some of this, shall we? Boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom. Now, remember what I said last time, guys, that the uh, prerequisite to... Oh, bollocks. The prerequisite to... Wow. They're just going to continue spawning, aren't they? To any solid jars is that they must be entered from the underneath. Um... So I think if I just, can I, that's kind of the, wow. <laughs> can I make them drop out? Are these going to be, oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, shoot, no. Oh, he can't see me. Haha, -ha, that's actually quite cool. Now, maybe I can start putting, you asshole. Oh, no, I want to keep, I want to keep the, let's keep the bits. There we go. And about, stop jumping, you idiot. You're a bit of a moron, aren't you? Thank you. Let's get that there. Okay, because they these guys are clearly thick. <laughs> she says as she gets a zombie jumping on her head. Alright, so I'm guessing these are like spawners or some such. Oh, wow. If they can't see me, they can't hurt me. <laughs> um, but can I actually get up? Can I get up? Is this going to be an endless barrage of mobs? Shall we chance it? Have I got anything? You know what? All right. Let me take a break. Uh, keep it, kill this creeper. Let me take a break and I'll come right back to this spot, folks. Um, I am going to...
drop off my goodies, make sure I'm replenished for food, etc. Unless I can make a chest, you know what, sods it. We haven't got time for this, guys. Let's just sort this out here and now. Oh, as if. Oh, it's in Aussie, by the way. That's the uh, <laughs> that's why it was a bit funny there. Fair dinkum. Um, so, yeah, let's just make a chest and dump this stuff out here. Having a few mouse issues at the moment, but I can deal. I can deal. All right, let's get rid of the good stuff. Sponge, important. Don't need the coal. I've got plenty of torches, so that's lovely. And the mouse is being a bit of a D-bag. Ores. Just in case I need to build up. Get in there. Um, dirt. Yeah. I'm like, let go. What? There's got to be spawners. Would you pick that up? Oh, issues. Wow. Okay. So, let's just get out of sight, out of mind. Get the ones that are going to come. And let's just go for it, folks, shall we? Come on, Skelly, you big piece of poop. Okay. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, that's the issue. Let's get rid. Nice. One, two, three. Okay. Stay away from that trapdoor. It's silent. Is that it? No. <laughs> I wonder what happened there. So is this actually, these redstone torches aren't doing diddly squat. Ah, uh, it's for light, but so the mobs still spawn. Ah, uh, carrots are thicky. All right, give me that one. You don't want that one there. Okie dokie. Now, I need to build myself up really, aren't I? Oh, shoot. Oh, that was quite good. I'm guessing the creeper spawner is in this jar. Come at me, brohams. Ow. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do this thing. Straight up. One more. Uh-oh. Whoa. Ow! Ow! Bad directions! Okay, 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 I'm gonna die, aren't I? Totally gonna die. Gonna die. Stop it! Stop it! Come on, carrot, you can do this. Kill them! Die, you poops! Wow! <sighs> and breathe. And breathe. Okay. You know what, guys? Should have thought about this earlier. Now let's. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not so smart. Not so smart. Not so smart. I was actually hoping to be able to dig directly underneath the spawner, kill them that way, and then deal with, uh, oh, cave spider spawner, cave spiders, cave spider, oh no, where is it, is it glitching, it must be glitching, so that's, oh, uh, shoot, <laughs> okay, they can't get to me now, let's just nom, um, and I'll just make sure I don't fall, because that, that seems like something I'd do, Okay, light you up so they don't spawn here. Maybe they'd be there. No. Oh, shoot. No! No cave spiders. So they're not there. They weren't there. They're going to be in the middle this time or something, aren't they? There we go. Yeah, I can deal with you. I can deal with you. Let's get the next spawner. Come on, guys. Come on. Yep. Come on, you little guys. We can deal. 
We can deal. Get out of my way, fat stuff. Alright, I can still hear zombies. So how many levels are there to this thing? Come on, dude. You can do it. Come and get me. You know you want to. That's it. That's it. Good guy. Oh, he's a big fella. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh-oh. Bam. Never afraid of the big bad creeper. <gasps> this is exciting. <laughs> wow. Okay. Breathe, carrot. Breathe. Next level. Next level. Let's just boom, boom. Oh, idiot. There. Okay. Why are you there? Right. First things first, light up. Right, they're clearly not there. Protection. Because Carrot's not so smart. Okay. Uh oh. Wow, there's just a couple of them, isn't there? Why have they got eggs? Die, you a-holes. Die! Okay, so they went in that corner. Here they are. Oh wow, there's more. I was only expecting the three. And obsidian! Exactly what I've been wanting. Come on. Could do with your loots as well. Hello, creeper. Oh. Really? Was that really necessary? Come on, guys. Is there more spawners? Because they don't seem to be stopping. Go on. Die. Uh. Nobody likes you, dude. Just leave me alone. <gasps> I could see myself falling out of the jar then. And it was all over for carrot. There's got to be more spawners up there. See, this, folks, this explains why I do not play on, uh, on any other level than easy. Ah! <laughs> Did you guys see what I saw? Should I do an instant replay? And there it was. Wow. <laughs> that was unexpected. Oh, there is! So many spawners. So many spawners. I better be getting some good loots from you guys. You suck. I wasn't prepared for this. I was told it was a maze. Not levels and levels and levels of death. Stop it! It's just really rude, you know. There must be still more spawners. Alright. Yeah, blow everyone up. Thank you. Uh, i got to go down. I need some food. Oh no, little asshole. Come on, guys. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Where are all these bloody chickens coming from? The, the smarter thing that I could have done would be to put the cobble right next to my torches and when I get up, to actually torch the area. Make it bright. Can I... Oh, that wasn't successful. Oh, stupid. There we go. Better. Good shot. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Jump down, you D-bag. Oh, I heard skeletons. Oh, 
Oh, you suck, man. Just jump down. You freaking idiot. Thank you. You're a chicken. Come here. Let me hate you. Why four chickens? Why is that? There's always chickens. All right. Let me just eat. Let me regen. Um, and we're about to get some obsidian. Well, this must be packed with chicken spawners or something stupid. I'm still yet to find the sponge. Oh! Ah. Biscuit. <laughs> That's Australian for cookie. Really? Is that... Is that all I'm getting? Oh, chesticles. What's that? Clue number one by GT Awesome Source. All right, we'll go into the comfort of our own home and have a little bit of a read through that. This is getting this is this is getting really cool, guys. Oh, must have emptied that one. Are these all bickies? Got to admit, I do love the Aussie uh, Aussie language. Am I? Oh, give me biscuits. And I've just got to check. There it is. I had a feeling seeing as it was a piece of cobble, regular cobble, um, that it would be the sponge. So what I am going to do is I'm at least going to collect four pieces of obsidian. And we all know why, don't we, folks? So that's two, one more. Four obsidian, two diamond, and a book. And my 35 levels there will not go to waste. Check that out, guys. I'm actually not dead. So that's lit up properly. Where the hell are all the chickens? Where are those chickens making noise? I got the four. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a porcupine. How's my back look? Oh, it's in my ass. I've got one in my butt. <laughs> That's some good arrow twerk in that. Wow. All right. Enough of that silliness. <laughs> Actually, it's not enough. I could totally do more, but I won't. All right. Um, you know what? Go away. Everyone's dying. Seems like good timing. Why are you... Oh. Die. Okay. Is it my all full of stuff? Because I'm going to have to get this stuff. And the sponge. Another bit of sponge. Uh, nah, nah, nah. What don't I need? What can I leave? What can I come back for? That. And. Um. Um. Eyes. That. There we go. Watch me fall off the edge here, folks. Because I haven't done the barrier yet. Eep. Oh, so that's so great, guys. So we've got two pieces of sponge this episode. Uh, we did have a look at uh, BD Pure by Sfax, the resource pack, and I have discovered that it's not a good one to use with lots of glass around. Uh, we've successfully defeated the Mossy Cobblestone Jar. That was pretty good. I'm, um, I actually think I, I think I've given myself a little bit of asthma <laughs> from the excitement of that. And we have clue number one. Um, I might even Google to, f to find out how many of these clue books there are. Oopsie, pick that up. Because it was just by sheer happenstance that, that I've got number one. I mean, does it matter? Let's have a look. All right, I've beaten jar number one. Now go to the jar where reading is fun. Is that it? Uh, well, am I in the jar where reading is fun? That's all good. Okay, uh, I believe we're going to call it quits for episode, what are we now guys, what are we, episode 5? 
I'm really enjoying this one. Um, yes, episode five of Carrot Top's World in a Jar. Leave me comments down below, guys. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see while I still have... It uh, looks like I've got chopsticks in my hair. I'm doing a beautiful little Asian... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, geisha. Geisha do with the, with the chopsticks in my hair. That's lovely. Very pretty. Um, <laughs> yeah, leave any comments below. Uh, tell me what you want me to do. Uh, clearly, leave a like because you know we all love those. Um, subscribe if you haven't because, to be honest, if you haven't, I don't know what's wrong with you. And um, last but not least, as always, say good day to your neighbour.